All right, welcome back, everyone. Turns out my uh, my video did save, um, and I'm actually quite happy about it because I would not have been content to lose all that. I I already went through that with the last time I did a segment of Minecraft, and you know, and the poor quality of the video because I forgot to turn the freaking microphone on. So if live stream just decides to go, pfft, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I can't really recover from that one if it doesn't let me save the video. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and talk about some of the settings. Um, just to kind of get that one out of the way. Um, I've gone over the achievements. Um, the statistics are just little things like how many times you've quit the game, uh, how many minutes you've played, the distant wa distance you've walked in kilometers, blah 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 blah. I have dealt quite a bit of damage, wow. Uh, number of deaths, zero, so yay. I'm happy with that one. Um, but you can, you can get you can like narrow it down and look at your general statistics, which I think is what I'm looking at now. Uh, just blocks, which... Oh, times crafted, times used, times mined. Interesting. I've used a lot of wood. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I didn't know that it actually went that far. That's pretty cool. But then you can break it up by items too and just be like, hey, I've done this much of that for however long. I've killed seven creepers. 22 skeletons? Dang, 42 zombies. That does not surprise me. I killed one bat. I don't remember killing a bat. One squid. That one poor little squid. Anyway, so those are what statistics do. Um, open to LAN really only refers to if you are um, playing Minecraft with a friend in your house, or at least within, your, within the range of your local area network. Um... Now that being said, if you have like a Mac and your friend has a PC, even if you're both running Windows, you're going to have problems because that's what happens at my house. <laughs> it's just, Minecraft just looks at you, shakes its head, and says no. <laughs> so it just doesn't really work. Um, it used to work. I don't know what happened. I think something changed in one of the updates. But yeah, that's what Open to LAN is for. Um, as far as I know, for like same type of computer to same type of computer, even if the model is different, outdated, whatever that'll work, but, um, because I've had this work from Mac to Mac, but other than that, I don't know, because I haven't been able to experience that very much, so it's there for you to be able to share things on your own network with people who are in your own house, um, and that way you don't have to be like, hey, come over to this room and, and see the cool thing that I built, um, so it's, it's useful for that, but, yeah, you know, I, I personally haven't had very much luck with it. <laughs> So then you have options. Now there's a lot of stuff in here that's kind of self-explanatory and kind of not. Difficulty setting, that's all kinds of self-explanatory. And y'all have heard me, y'all have heard me gripe and complain about how the easy mode isn't actually easy anymore. Um, music and sounds, self-explanatory right up here. You know, you can you can mute other people because, well, I don't th I don't think it's a matter of them having voice chat. I don't think that's available in Minecraft yet. But I think it's like the noises they make, like when they hit a block or when they get hit by something, that clicking noise. Um, ambience, friendly creatures, hostile creatures, yada, 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 yada. That's all self-explanatory. Um, video settings is one of the areas where I get a little bit lost because I don't know what some of this stuff is, honestly. Um, if you do, feel free to comment. Um, you know, because I don't, I don't mind learning. I might as well. I'm already in school to learn animation. I probably need to know some of this stuff. Um... One thing I can show you um, with the video settings is I'll start with the graphics here. You can have fancy or fast, and this will this will dramatically affect a lot of things. Um, I'm currently in fast graphics. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop down to sleep just so I can go outside safely and show you stuff. But you'll notice that. The trees just look a little bit different. The grass looks a little bit different. Actually, the grass looks really vibrant. That's kind of interesting. Um, but I can't see through the leaves anymore. That's one of the things that makes it fast graphics. And fast graphics are designed for older computers or, you know, computers that don't quite have the same processing power to be able to handle fancy graphics. Oh, no, I see you over there, Creeper. No, 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 no. I'm going back inside right now. Um... And one of the things it does, which I can talk about because I need to craft this anyway. Um, I mentioned earlier flint and steel and how it starts fires. Uh, wrong chest. Well, first of all, 
how you craft it, I usually forget. Okay, it's that way. I tend to do it this way and then be like, wait, it's... Oh! Hey, they fixed it! That's cool! <laughs> okay, so you can craft flint and steel this way, and it doesn't matter how. This is what it looks like. And because I'm on fast graphics, if I go out here and start a fire... Oh. Maybe not. Interesting. It used to be that on fast graphics it would just say fire in bright red letters. So I'm guessing the fast graphics are not quite what they used to be. Um, maybe they took out the clouds. I don't know if it's just a really bright cloud cloudless day. Because <laughs> that also happens in Minecraft. But that's what they're supposed to do. And then I'm going to switch back to my fancy graphics because my computer can handle them and I prefer it. And now... You know, you can see, like, the rays around the sun a little better. You can see through the trees again. The grass doesn't look quite as bright as it did. And, you know, details like that. I can still see that creeper, and he's still making me nervous. So I'm going to go back inside to talk about the rest. Um, since I don't need the flint and steel right now, I'll go ahead and put that away. Uh, settings, settings. So, options. Video settings. Um, another one you have is smooth lighting. This uh, is basically a new lighting engine for Minecraft. I say new because I've been playing since the late version, since the later alpha versions. Um, smooth lighting has actually been around for a good bit now. And on the one hand, I do like smooth lighting, but there's a reason I leave it off. Um, I'll go ahead and show you it at maximum. And the reason I'm showing you it at maximum is because this is how it was introduced to us the first time. Now, notice the dramatic change in shading. And ignore the broken bed. I don't know at what point Mojang missed that, but apparently they did. <laughs> if I go out here, you'll see the same shading on, like, all the blocks. So this shading is really pretty. I actually enjoy the smooth lighting. I like the way it looks. The problem is when I go into a cave, everything looks a lot darker. Like, a lot darker. Um, I don't think I can actually show you without going back to the cave. If there's a small... That's right, there's a ravine on the other side of the mushroom biome. So we'll go check that out, and I will demonstrate. I will demonstrate the differences. Um, but yeah, when I first saw smooth lighting, I thought it was really, really cool. But then one of my friends pointed out to me that it does make things look darker, and when I fussed with the settings, I realized it did. And then I kind of tried to adapt to the smooth lighting... And it just never happened, and I think I went in the completely wrong direction. What was I thinking? Was I thinking? That's the question. Sorry about that. This segment is actually lasting a lot longer than I thought it would, but at least we're out of the mines now. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do... I love the effect of the smooth lighting. I honestly do. I think it makes the game look a lot prettier, it's cool, but I just don't like the fact that it makes everything so dark when you're underground. I will show you once I can get back to... Because eventually I'll get back there. I keep, like, making wrong turns. So you'll notice now that my hunger bar is very low. That means running is not going to happen. It's just not. I can't run anymore. I think. I can run just a little bit more. But it's going to make me stop soon. Yeah, I can't run anymore. I could... I can try to sprint it, it just says no. So I'm going to go ahead and eat before I starve to death. And I know there's that little ravine-ish thing over here somewhere. I think it's further over here. But once we get in there, I'll show you what I mean about how how much darker the smooth lighting makes everything. It's all kinds of pretty, it's just... I'm using that phrase again. It's very pretty! <laughs> But it's just... it makes everything too dark for me. I don't like that. Um, that's right, I made a way to go in this way. So you'll see, everything looks... even though even the stuff I have that's lit up with torches looks... it does look a whole lot darker, and it's not... it's... we're not completely getting the entire effect because there is sunlight right there, but... I'm just gonna go ahead and... Whoop. But down here you'll see the walls look a lot darker. They look significantly darker. And I don't like that because I can't see further. I want to be able to see when there's a creeper around. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. I will explain more in the next video about the smooth lighting.